Hi, today I'm going to play Beethoven's Fifth Symphony on the microbit. Afterwards, I will show you the code and setup so you can try it yourself. However, I must credit the Mini Mu Glove Project and the Essex Mets for the inspiration and backbone for this project. Their links are in the description below. Now, this is Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. And mine sounds like Okay, so this is my project And it's done on the Microbit Make Code Editor and again, this code is mainly based off the Minimoo Glove Project code, which I found through the SXD Mets. Uh, to start, we use the on start block, and you use the play tone just to play a short C note, just to let you and the user know that the microbit is on and working. Now, to play songs and notes, we use the input block, which can have a variety of actions such as tilting the, the microbit up and down, or shaking it, or tilting, or dropping it. And you can choose whatever you want. And then we win a tone, such as D, or anything you want, including sharps, flats, any note on the piano. For Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, you need D, D sharp, F, and G. The difference between a ringtone and play tone is that the play tone will only last for a certain length of time, as in the case for the play middle C, it will only last for a sixteenth of a beat. But a ringtone will last until the next note is played. So if you talk left, it will play middle D until you play right, and then it will play D sharp. Which is why you have this rest block here which will stop playing the music for the length of time. We used a 1 16th of a beat to have a quick response, but I still find that it's too slow for myself, such as why when I played Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, it was a bit slow. Once you're happy with the notes you've chosen and the action you've chosen to go with them, you can flash it to your microbit using a USB. So once you've downloaded your code to your microbit, now you've got to connect your headphones or your speakers to your microbit. So you use two wires, as you see here I've used crocodile clips. And you have one wire that connects on the ground to the base of the headphones. And the other goes on the zero pin to the tip of the headphones. So now they can make a noise when you play. <laughs> 